I'm David Buck. This is my dad. When he was a young person, he grew up in West Rupert, went to Salem High School. He was like every kid, active doing things. And he's at a square dance. And all of a sudden, there's a man looking at him, looking at him. You wonder what the world's the guy looking at me for? I explained he was an artist and he liked his ears. My dad had pretty good sized ears. So Norman wanted to know if he would be a model. My dad agreed and before you knew it the Saturday Evening Post came out and it's, he's right on the cover of the Saturday Evening Post and it's big news for a small town and a little family and well they continued on for 11 Saturday Evening Post covers. Kept going, he got out of high school and Norman Rockwell had portrayed him as a army soldier and he went into the Navy and Norman Rockwell wanted to know why he would do that. <laughs> he didn't think he wanted to be a soldier, he thought he wanted to be in the Navy so that's why he did that. He was in the Navy and he, part of his job was working with the pilots. They had to shoot the targets to see if they could hit the targets from an airplane. It was going to be pretty necessary. If the country went to war, they had to be able to hit something when they were aiming. There was funny stories involved with that. Well, there was a fire back in Vermont at Norman Rockwell's studio in West Arlington, and they'd lost a, one of the copies they needed for the one of the Saturday Evening Post covers. So Robert was ordered to come back to Vermont to be repainted by Norman Rockwell. Traveling across the open yard, he was corralled by a higher ranking officer that thought he was out of order and took him to have him interrogated and given him trouble for being out of spot. And come to find out he had orders from the highest sources that he was supposed to be coming there and the fellow that brought him into the office was asked if he'd Thought he had more power than the Secretary of the Navy, and the guy didn't think he did. He told him, well, that's where the orders came from. So now you, and you're doing such a good job, you get to escort Mr. Buck back to Vermont so he can be repainted by Norman Rockwell. So that poor fellow had to spend a big time, big trip. Probably back then it was by vehicle, not by train or out of, well, no airplanes flying. But it was a big trip to come across country and spend some time seeing sightseeing in Vermont while Norman Rockwell did some painting and back to California they went. That was the story my father relayed to me. It was part of the set of paintings that he remembered. And after the war he got to be in the the final painting when there was portraying a the young person after the war was over on the GI Bill getting his education. And he was he thought that was a good thing to be part of. He had a, fond memories of it all and but it was just a part of his early life and he just moved on from it and after that he never didn't hear nothing about it and until he got to be retired in his later years he would had more time for it I suppose and then maybe take more interest in the notoriety from it. So he'd go down to the museum and interview and talk to different ones. So it wasn't a like a career thing. He didn't ever think he was going to be a model for anybody else. In the portrait that shows him going to college in the background there's a steeple. And the steeple is something that was added in later in an effort by Norman Rockwell to get young Robert an opportunity to go to college at Middlebury. And he asked the, there was no steeple and he approached the dean at Middlebury College and asked him, do you suppose if we put the steeple from Middlebury College in this window that maybe Robert Buck would have a chance to go to Middlebury College. Robert never went to Middlebury College, but that was the story I was told. The portrait hung in the, the Dean's office at Middlebury College for 50 years after that fact. The Dean got done the, the portrait. My cousin's husband was a friend of his and he was in there and he, he'd seen the portrait several times. So he asked the Dean, do you know who that is in there? And he said, no, I don't know who the model is. And, well, he said, that's my wife's uncle. 
And then he told him the story how he was Willie Gillis. And that was just one of the 11 Saturday evening post covers he was on. And that's the story, my father's Norman Rockwell story, the best that I can remember it. <laughs>